All right, so we are back at SeaWorld for the first time since it reopened. So we're gonna try this out today. It is hot. It is very hot with the mask on, uh, 90, I think it's 94 degrees right now. Uh, we're gonna see how long this lasts, but I just wanted to show you guys as far as uh, everything that's going on, ways that we've used to be able to uh, make SeaWorld more enjoyable prior to the pandemic. We're gonna see afterwards. Uh, how much stuff is reopened, how many things can we still use that we were using before. Uh, so join us. On our way in, helpful tip, uh, Sarah wants to make sure everybody knows, on Amazon, uh, you'll see with the rechargeable fans, we went through probably, what was it, three, four different versions of buying lots of different fans to go on when Josie was little. Uh, now with Grace, we've, we've learned our lessons. Uh, so this is, in our opinion, the best fan. Uh, that exist. Uh, it's, it's got the, uh, the adjustable button. Uh, there's different ones. Uh, we've got, they all look relatively the same, uh, but this version actually has the button that's right here uh, to where it will oscillate. So you could have it like on your desk at work and it will oscillate around, which is kind of cool. Or if you're doing it for the kids in the stroller, that's nice. Uh, but it clips on, makes it a lot easier uh, with that. So I'm gonna turn off the oscillating so we can go back to just enjoying with that. Uh, but it's uh, flea pow, I guess. I don't know how to say it. Uh, but it's got giant rechargeable batteries in it. Uh, and we went through the other style where you had to put in AA batteries. And I think that Duracell was really loving us uh, to increase their stock during that time. So we just came through the temperature check, uh, coming into the parks. They definitely have done a lot to be able to try to make this easy. So the three lanes coming through, just the quick scan as far as with your temperature, and then the lanes coming into the, uh, the actual security check. So, so far so good. Uh, we'll see how everything goes as we go through the rest of the park. With their past member option, since we haven't been back, so I'm gonna go ahead and scan my card. Here's just some of the things that we've got with that. So we've got our uh, Florida Platinum free animal care tour. So with their upgrade to the, from gold to platinum, uh, it's given us one of those uh, gold to platinum. Here's letting us know with the upgrade so I can do the ride again privileges on a ride without exiting off. 20% off uh, in-park food and dining purchases, all of that through the end of the year. We're gonna do a free animal encounter today. So we're gonna actually do the dolphin encounter so you guys can see what that looks like. Uh, and we're gonna get a free picture. So, everything for the day that we're gonna enjoy, come along. All right, quick trip through the AC as we're coming in. Sarah's already seen something that she likes. Welcome back. Got all kinds of different masks. Sharks. Uh, sloth. I haven't seen a sloth at SeaWorld, but okay, maybe it's a Busch Gardens thing. I uh, got the extenders if you've got uncomfortable and then just the plane. Looks like a price of $9.99. And for the kiddos, got all the youth sizes as well. So uh, I think they had all of these right before you came into the park, since obviously you're required to have a mask just to come into the uh, area where you get your temperature check, but uh, I keep three or four masks with me when I'm in the parks for the simple reason that uh, you're gonna sweat a lot uh, with these. So a little bit of uh, bad news. Some of the things that we were gonna do today are not open yet. So uh, the dolphin encounter, the animal experience, doing all of those things, not open again yet. Uh, they're not sure when that stuff's gonna open back up. So if you're a pass holder, uh, and you're coming in, uh, as we showed at the beginning of the video, we got all the little upgrade passes and printed that out. Uh, the person in guest services just said, hold on to it because whenever that stuff does open back up, you're gonna need it in order to enjoy that. Now we had the gold pass beforehand, uh, so it upgraded us to platinum, which means we can go to the different parks. Uh, we can go to, uh, to Bush Gardens uh, and visit with that. So we'll do that in Tampa one day. Uh, in the near future. I asked, do I need to take anything special uh, with me so that I can show with that? She said, no, just take your normal pass. 
Uh, so we'll try that out. Uh, she said I didn't have to print the thing out in addition to just simply the card that said that my uh, gold pass went to platinum. Now normally, this is where we go when we're looking for discounted merchandise. So Sandcastle Toys and Treasures, not open. Meal of the day on the way to Voyager Smokehouse. So we, earlier this year when we got our passes, uh, they had a deal, I still see that the deal exists for annual dining. If you're familiar with all day dining, all day dining is gonna give you the one entree, one side item, and one soft drink beverage, uh, you know, every time that you're through the park, uh, once an hour. But all year dining, you don't get as much. You get one entree and one drink. That's it, no side. You gotta buy the side separately. All right, so we have our rib sampler. Uh, this is an entree that we got with that come. The entree, uh, so our uh, shortcut with that, this entree comes with the fries and the dinner roll. Uh, so you get a side anyways, even though it doesn't technically include one with the all season dining. Um, watch out, dear. And then Sarah got the brisket sampler coming with the uh, this nice smoked chicken, big pile of brisket, the roll, and the fries. Uh, as well. We went ahead and grabbed waters. Huh, it is hot, so we're trying to enjoy with that. So the only thing that we had with our menu uh, order that we had to pay for was our fruit cup uh, for Josie. So we wanted to make sure with that that we uh, we grabbed that for her. This is one of the things that for your kids that they love while they're in the parks. Uh, with our discount, 20% uh, off, $3.66 for a big cup of fruit. It's going to be healthy that she enjoys. So. Uh, with that, you can see tons of strawberries. Now, I will be honest, sometimes with that, when you look at them, you kind of have to look through and see what looks good, but because the parks are a lot less crowded right now, um, there's somebody actually individually serving you those cups, so there's not as many prepared ahead of time. Uh, so the fruit actually looks even better than normal. Uh, so that's a, that's a good thing, in my opinion. Josie, do you like the strawberries? Are those good? I want that. All right, so just coming out of Voyager Smokehouse, had a fantastic meal, as always. We always enjoy. I got the, uh, the rib sampler. Sarah got the brisket. Uh, it came with the half-smoked chicken. Uh, it came with the sausage, the roll, the side of fries. Tons and tons and tons of food. Uh, as, we're, uh, as we're going through the park, one of the things that I wanted to kind of point out, you can see behind me, uh, this is the end of June, this park is empty. Uh, there's very few people here compared to normal. Uh, so if you are wanting to come out and enjoy the parks and you're afraid as far as it's going to be crowded because there's not uh, Disney open yet, it's just Universal and SeaWorld, um, now might be a great time for you to come out if you're here locally and you feel safe in doing so. Uh, I th my personal opinion, the parks uh, are doing a fantastic job of trying to make sure that people are safe when they're getting out that they're able to uh, to do that in a way uh, as far as what you see people going through the park and wiping stuff down uh, you see people uh, wiping the table so while we were sitting there we watched a gentleman come around with the sanitizer as soon as somebody got up spray the table wipe it down have it ready for the next person wiping the chairs down the table everything around there so that uh, that made me feel good to we were able to do that and able to get out and enjoy we had the all season dining um so this is a way that for us before the parks closed we kind of justified it because we said we live really close to sea world we can pop out on a friday night grab dinner uh and then grab either lunch or dinner on saturday and sunday so you get uh with that annual dining pass you get one meal every four hours and your limit is two per day so you get a lunch and a dinner uh, today our lunch was at 12:58. The park closes at 6. Um, I don't think we're going to be here by 6 anyways. So because of that, we, uh, we will just be doing the one meal today and calling it quits. But I just wanted to walk through the rest of the park and kind of see what else is going on. So one thing I have noticed as far as difference with SeaWorld versus uh, Universal. Universal has a lot of the uh, U rest zones. So a lot of places throughout the park for you to be able to quickly exit off the main path, 
go somewhere, sit down, take your mask off, get a drink. Uh, I I have not seen one of those here. Sarah, have you seen one? No. No, so I'm, we're, we're trying to pull over to the side, uh, out of the main path and kind of point away, take your mask off, be able to get, to get a drink of water. Uh, so that is one thing that would be nice. Uh, if anybody knows where those exist uh, for the next time, um, I'm trying to look, I haven't found them yet. I stand corrected, it was right in front of us. So as you're coming from Mako, through this area uh, during the uh, the winter time. This is normally where like the uh, the three wise men uh, will be, uh, but it's a, a little relaxation zone where you can finally take your mask off, relax, have a drink, and not have to uh, to be suffering with that. So how do you do hand sanitizer without touching it? Use your elbow. I don't know why this is like water when it comes out, but it seems. Seems to work, smells like sanitizer. Sesame Street looks like a regular weekday uh, as opposed to a busy summer weekend. Now it looks like, from what I can tell, a lot of the, uh, the extra attractions, so like the photos with Elmo and Cookie Monster, not open right now as far as I can tell. The uh, playground area looks to be closed off as well. But they do have Elmo's Choo Choo Train back up and running. It looks like the food carts are back up. And then the splash pad is up just in a uh, lot more controlled as far as they're regulating how many people in at a time so it's not overly crowded and that there can be social distancing. Uh, so our daughter, her oldest daughter is exhausted. Um, otherwise, she would be waiting in line, ready to play, I'm sure. But it looks like back up and running, ready for you to get out and enjoy. Another face covering relaxation zone over here with the new patio that they built uh, during the food festival uh, that was at the end of last year, beginning of this year. Uh, they've put up these new structures, just kind of this little shady area. Would be great if those had some fans or something just to keep some air moving around. But if you want to break from your mask, just out of Sesame Street, uh, down from Mango Joe's, beside where Wild Arctic used to be. <laughs> so the good news is uh, we have been by two different team members uh, here with SeaWorld that have told people to pull their mask up to where it actually covers their nose, their mouth. Um, one person inside of Wild Arctic, one as we were coming off. So maybe uh, that we're seeing that there's more of that going on to help people out. Also notice that they added the seating uh, outside of Mango Joe's. So it just looks like more than likely the tables that used to be under the back area that overlooked the water and you cannot go out onto that back patio where everything was covered because that will be icebreaker that is the queue for the ride that is the ride itself that will open at some time i don't know when uh honestly the bad part is it looks like the reports are saying that there's uh not a lot of progress on this right now it looks pretty complete and ready for people to be able to enjoy but Think there's a few outstanding items before they can start getting uh, the cars running and test that out to get the sign-offs to start having guests on. So with the day of SeaWorld, what have we learned? Uh, we wanted to come out and experience it firsthand. Number one, uh, it's not as bad as what I was seeing on videos from people the last couple weeks as far as saying that people were walking with their masks down and that they felt unsafe. Uh, that they didn't feel like things were clean. I think that they're doing a fantastic job of, of trying to do that. Uh, all the dining area, the, the tables are set up to be socially distanced. Uh, so that's not an issue. You know, I saw plenty of people wiping stuff down, cast members telling people to put their, uh, their, their mask back up. I wish that there were some better uh, defined areas as far as the, uh, the, the rest zones. Um, so I know that uh, they had some of the tables and they were spread out, but 
like Universal has a lot of great signs being able to point out where you can go and take a break for your mask. Um, if I looked at it and I were to rate this experience versus a normal summer day, uh, ride times are a little bit longer where they're wiping down in between people and they're doing that ever so often. It seems like load and unload times are taking a lot longer. Uh, so whereas normally I would be able to hop on a ride and it might be a five to 15 minute wait. Uh, today, the, it looked like uh, with Mako, Mako was a 35 minute wait when I walked by. Uh, Infinity Falls was a line that was outside of the queue. So it was, it was long enough to where you have people outside of the queue which is what I was used to seeing last year as well. Uh, and then uh, we didn't make it back to Kraken. Um, when we went by Manta, it looked like the line was, was pretty long, but I did not look at the exact time. So it looks like uh, if you're coming for the rides, you might be waiting a little while. Uh, that is my part that I really love about SeaWorld. Sarah loves the animals and the experience of doing that. Uh, but we really just came out to be able to grab some food. Uh, so for us, great, enjoyable day. Both the girls are asleep taking a nap right now, so that's even better. So we're going to relax, head home, and take it easy for the rest of the day. So before we go, we want to make sure for Orlando on a Budget, uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you never miss an episode. Until next time, this is Andy.